I have a really uh, interesting question, Brent, and it's it's obvi- it's got to do with our season, but it's also got to do with shit that's gone on in the new season. Dom loves to throw in the interesting. Oh, look. Stunner in the way. (laughs) Now he's fucking (laughs) sweating. No, I have a question because I find it very interesting that this year a lot of shit's been leaked. Yeah. A lot of text messages, a lot of things uh, that's gone on with the cast. Yeah. I'm really curious because in our season there was obviously a scandal, oh, my God. Mm-hmm. And there were supposed photos. There were supposed text messages. Well, not supposed. We know that the text messages happened and and the photos happened. I'm really curious to ask you why you think those messages, those photos, never got leaked to the media. Are you talking about the photos of you and the text and the text messages, messages and the conversations that were surrounding the images? But they just could not do that. I mean, I think there's a, yeah, but in, in the case of a photo like that, it becomes a legal matter. Yeah. So they're yeah. actually not no. allowed. Anyone who actually brings it out, especially from they, media, will probably cop it as well. Yeah, no, I, I get that. So the photo is one thing, but leaking the conversation that went with the photo, I don't like it's interesting to me that no one's leaked no it. No one's leaked it. Well, I reckon our cast was just yeah, fucking you smarter. Know. Maybe now that you bring it up, it's that's quite true. But is there not legal standings on that as well? Wouldn't that wouldn't that have something to do with legal standings as well? I mean, but at the time, I didn't even know it was illegal what was happening. So, like, did what? everybody know that it was illegal what was happening? Because I didn't. No, probably not. That's what I mean. No. Like, but it's I just find it very interesting because there's text messages from Dan and Sandy that are getting leaked. There's text messages from this Bronte's person, this best person. friend. Bronte's voice messages are getting leaked. Like, yeah. Well, it's whoever it's had- just so interesting to me and I just think like now as time's gone on, I've reflected, but I'm seeing this season, I just think to myself and I and I know the answer from my perspective why it hasn't gotten leaked, especially if as Olivia's story, if it actually is true that these were sent from her friend, I think she would have leaked that. Because anything that's going to help her story, she would have done, right? And the reason that she hasn't is because that would 100% implicate that she has broken the law. Yeah, but, I mean, if we can say it now, how do you not know that producers would have gone to her and said, this is illegal. If you share them, there will be illegal lawsuits and blah, blah, blah. You never know. Do you know what I mean? We don't know what goes behind closed doors because I think when it involves a female body, mm. you know what I mean? It's it, it, It's a whole different... And we know how dodgy producers are. Yeah, and w- and we know how dodgy they are. And, and a lot of people said, oh, you know, how did you not – how do you know that the producers didn't send show Olivia? Um, I can 100% tell you right now if the producers showed her, they would have been the first person that she threw under the bus. She's blamed, yeah, producers, sure. she's bl- mm-hmm. blamed for producers for everything else. So I'm telling you right now, if the producers had showed her, uh, she would have said that. So what's your theory? Because I'm trying to put it together. My theory is just she, that her friends didn't send anything. I uh, yes, yeah. I I hundred percent think that her friends. She admit that on TV though. It was actually aired that she did. But then it, she said she that her. Up. But then she said in a million other interviews that her friend sent it. So I don't know, Brent. Like I said, we weren't there. I don't. I don't ever have the truth. I'm not fucking God. I'm never going to know the truth and not be a fly on the wall of that mm. night because yeah. The I've I've actually just in the last few months actually only accepted mm. um, since the police called me and said that this inv- this investigation has had to be paused mm. because um, she's just forwarded her lawyers to the police. Uh, she's chosen to not speak, mm. um, yeah. and a few people have chosen not to speak to the police. So I've only in the last few months accepted that there's nothing that's going to happen, and I just think karma takes its course. Yeah. Um, and and that's it, really. Like mm. I, I think that's. But if you had told me, considering I was in that room, if you had told me that this would have become what it did, like imagine, imagine just like dopey friends, right? Mm. Had a couple of drinks, you see mm. someone that you're like, oh yeah, okay, cool, yeah, yeah, whatever, and you go on. You wouldn't have thought for a million years mm. that that would have turned into what it did, mm. because I mean, it's not necessarily so out there that you see a woman's body, right? Mm. Come on. I mean, this means, so you don't really take it that serious. You're just yeah. like, okay, it's a woman's body. 
and then from what it went like what it started as and what it went to was just madness mm. and absolute madness i think if we weren't on a tv show it's because we were on a TV show, yeah. right? It's what because the person's – it's because yeah. the, per, the photo that you were seeing is of a person that you're in the experiment with. That's that's where this changes. And I'm not mm. saying that it's right that if someone shows you a photo of someone's ex-girlfriend or a, mm. or a photo that's off a paywall or whatever is right in, in everyday life. Mm. But I think what made it even worse was that it was – we were all in the experiment. Mm. Only some of you were hanging out. Not everyone was included in that environment, which is totally fine because I wouldn't want to be in the same room as those people anyway. But like the fact that the photo was shown and nothing was said to me, mm. I think that's the bigger picture here. Mm. You know, it's really interesting how like you're watching the season and all these things are getting leaked, and it made you think of that. It, it really did, babe, because I honestly was like, nothing from our show got leaked. Mm. I mean, yeah, the only thing that got that, fucking leaked was my photos. And the- <laughs> this, season now, this season that's on, they've lost all grip. They've lost all control all of grip. what's going out. Spoilers, text messages, photos, this, that. They've got no no control over any of them and nothing. Mm. It's just all come out in it's a, a, a space for two weeks and the whole ending was done. It's oh, so. uh, literally like. It's like, do we need even? We don't even really need to watch it anymore because we know what's happening. And also, there's I'm talking to a few people. I don't need to watch it. <laughs> like, yeah, it's becoming too madness anyway. It's so chaotic. It's so chaotic. It's very. very I actually toxic. feel nauseous. Um, and actually, speaking of this, the, we, well, let's speak about um, math season ten now. Um, so, little birdie told me that um, old mate Adam, uh, fake Dior bag Adam, <laughs> as I like to call him. <laughs> That's Adam. Uh, <laughs> oh God. You know of him or he's in your social circle. Let's spill the tea. How do you know him? Well, not social circle, no. Yeah, me and him were talking uh, a fair bit before before it aired and even before he, he started filming actually. Um, so, so how do you know of him? So just go back in we, time. We met, we met through a, a London Connect. So yeah. when I was, I was wanting to get a um, Connect and everything to do with London and stuff that I'm trying to do. And then we kind of met through through that, I think. It, it had something to do with that, but I can't remember how it started. Yeah. Anyway, this was way back. And then um, before filming, I, I just said to him, he goes, do you have any advice? I was like, bro, be yourself, be cool. Um, I go, rule number one, just, you know, don't cheat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, Obviously, I knew what he had done before it aired, and you know, oh, I don't yeah. like giving spoilers away, so I wouldn't say a word. And, and and I go, I go, bro, look, honestly, like you had one job, you had a one, one job, one job, dude, one job, job, bro. And yeah, drop the ball on that one. He knows, so I mean, not much you can do. What's do you know what he's doing now? Like where he's at? Because because he's he's kind of just disappeared. Like I feel like all the other cast members. Ooh, things are getting like leaked and things are coming out that they're with this person now and doing this and that, but nothing's come out of Adam. Yeah. I spoke to him uh, last week. It was probably the last time. And I asked how he was, how he was dealing with it all. Mm. Uh, and I know at, at some point that he was, there's a lot of people looking to talk to him, especially media outlets. And right now they're not letting him. Oh. So I, I think it's just a, a matter of time whether he's just going to go rogue like everyone else did, or he's going to he's going to sit and wait for them. I don't know. I don't. I know mean, why it's interesting. Is. It's interesting that he's actually following the rules in that sense because yeah. he didn't follow the rules when he was in the experiment. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. I think he's just trying to trying to I don't know do the right thing. Is by he still them living in back. Sydney, Australia? Like, is he still here? I don't think he was never living in Sydney. I think he's from Gold Coast originally, but he was living in London before the show. Oh. oh. So yeah. is he back up in the Gold Coast then? I have no idea. So wow. when you say that, like, um, they're not letting him talk to media outlets, does that mean Nine is not giving him the opportunity to potentially do radio? Yeah. Activity? Yeah. yeah. From what I know right now, they, they basically held him back from all of that, especially at the start when Janelle was going on and saying what she was saying. Um, not that I bought that crap anyway, but, mm. yeah. yeah. What do you mean by that? What do you mean? Oh, that, that situation? I think Janelle knew. I think Janelle knew well before it was done on camera and she just made it. Mm. A, she, like, I, I'm watching too many people do the I'm the victim, feel sorry for me thing and I can't yeah. stand it. Yeah. I cannot stand it. And I feel like a lot of the cast this year are doing that. I feel like a lot of them are doing that. So you're saying – Jesse is king number one, feel sorry for me. I can't, like, I can't yeah. stand watching Jesse. 
put put on the sad face and everyone feels sorry for me mm. after he shut on a girl for two weeks and expected her to what? Mm. You knew her for two weeks. Calm down. You weren't married literally yeah. for two years. And then it's, oh, feel sorry for me. And any excuse he can, I'm like, oh, stop raping it, man. He's trying mm-hmm. to just, yeah. So right. did you, obviously you knew about Adam and what he'd done, like because you chatted to him and you knew before we all knew. Um, did he, like does he regret it? Does he wish that he did things differently in his maths experience? Definitely. He already regretted it before it, it aired on TV. Yeah, because I I, I I did read him as a man. Like I was like, man, like you had one job. Yeah, you kind of screwed up on that one. So yeah, because I imagine like being him and ma- like the feeling of knowing that the country plus more are about to see you fucking cheat. Like the you would feel so ill. I mean, and Claire too. Yeah. She, <laughs> she like physically vomited before she like, had to speak to. The anxiety would be a gnarly. And you can even tell on Adam's face, like from the get go, when that phone task came out. And do you, do you know what we picked up? Was, you know, how you and Tamara gave Mitch and I that phone task? Yeah. Well, we reckon that's where they've got it from. 100%. And, they, and of course, the that producers was, knew. Yeah, that wasn't a task before. Until you guys gave that to Mitch and I, and then they've done it to Adam and Janelle, and then from that, I didn't think of it that way. yeah, well, I think you were the one that yeah. picked up on that, and I was like, oh no, shit, like, okay, but the moment that uh, Janelle and Adam were like, no, we're not going to do it, the look, and he re- couldn't rip it up fast enough. That was when it just said guilt everywhere. I'm interested. <laughs> I feel like there's more to this story here. Are you telling me? I feel as though Adam's told you a bit more about behind the scenes and and potentially. Well, of course he has, babe, but Brent can't tell yeah, us. Yeah, well, I'm trying to think of, que- I'm going to word questions in certain <laughs> ways so I can get fucking information, all right? No, I'm curious. So you're saying it was potentially um, not as much of a secret as what we saw on TV and that it was Everyone kind of knew that it happened, even Jesse. Yes. Yeah, I mean. Uh, maybe, maybe not Jesse. He had a feeling. Maybe not Jesse, but most of the cast knew, yes. Mm. People okay. were there, babe. Like I know. That's what I People are understand. out there fucking lit. They're downstairs vaping. All of them. I know. up. Like, of course people saw and knew and someone, you can't keep that secret between yes. you, Adam, and Claire. Like, you literally have to, you can't keep someone that. Someone would have said something. Like, hundred percent. Most of them, listen, most of them knew. Well before that, most of them knew. hundred percent. But did Janelle know? I reckon. Look, I don't know specifically. So when I said that, when I said actually about Janelle, I don't buy that she didn't know. Yeah, I meant that from my own my own perspective and from okay. what I'm seeing. But he didn't actually uh, say anything like that. So okay, interesting. Yeah, I just cause... don't believe that she didn't know. I think it was bullshit, and she did. Mm-hmm. But the only reason that because it became so big, she goes, "All right, well, I'll play victim. I've got to go." So yeah, I mean, the playing victim thing is really interesting. See, from my in my opinion, I don't see Janelle as playing the victim. A few people I see as playing the victim are definitely oh. Bronte. That's, that's, I mean, I see also a bit of um, that Lindell playing the victim. Like, mm. oh, he didn't want to hug me. Bitch, go and get a fucking pillow. Like, I mean, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh like, I'm, she she shits me, that one. I don't know why. <laughs> I know she and, I, and I've said it multiple times. So she can't, she, she doesn't know why. But, it, bro, I just don't trust I her. I just don't take the whole car seriously. That's why. I, I literally just, I can't watch this season of maths and take, any of them apart from Ollie and Tani. They're the only ones I like. They're the only yeah. ones that are likable. They are genuine. They're pretty fucking normal and there's not many normal people Just show in the us world. more of them. Okay, yeah, yeah maybe potentially what? for TV it, it's boring compared to yeah. fucking Bronte and Harrison. But guess what? Bronte and Harrison, you're shitting me to death. Oh, my God. I, like uh, Harrison, man, he's, he, he's built from a different cloth. Bro, he's, he's, from he's from Maroubra. He's from the oh, so the he's, brab. He's, he's a brab. Brab, brab. brab. He is. He is the epitome of game plan. He's been watching for years religiously. Hundred percent. He's always wanted to go on it. He's coming here with what? something. He's a fanboy. Oh. He honestly believes that he's going to come out and be this cool super villain. I'm like, bro, there's not a single person I don't know that wants you to walk into their venue so they can throw you out head first. Literally. Like, like I, I'm I'm talking like full <laughs> anger. And this is an interesting topic, Brent, as well. Like, you know, having you, – you've done reality TV, we've done reality TV, 
obviously. Um, the, this thing about being the villain, mm. Why? what is it now that people think that they can get some autonomy or they can get some kind of like fame from being the villain? So people are purposefully mm. being a dickhead so they can become a villain? I don't know. I wish I had the answers for you. I yeah. ask myself that every time and I think it's it's more about – it's more about receiving that kind of clout and looking cool to the boys or something, but you're acting like yeah. a 20 year old. He's supposed to be 30 with a son. And did you not see that? Like that apparently he takes his son on first dates all the time. I've seen that. He uses the kid as fucking clout. That's something. very sad. Because and- I said that in an interview just last week. I, go, I, I literally think this is before I saw that article and I'm not saying anything's true. We all know how things can be perceived, but yeah. I don't know. But like, I literally go, I, I, unfortunately think that he uses his son as a way to use ammunition to them after to make them feel bad for him. And I'm like, Dude, don't use your kids for your But it's game. also like, it's also like in Harrison's mind, it's like he's telling himself, oh, if I've like showed this woman my kid, like I'm a good person. Yeah. I'm doing good. It's like he's telling himself that in his it's like, bro, Head. any any dumb cunt can go and inseminate a woman and make a child, okay? Like, seriously, you're not actually that great. Sorry. Like, go <laughs> and fucking feed the homeless every week or do something that will actually make us see you as a human being. Like, just because you have a kid doesn't mean you're a fucking hero. And who is he? I don't understand his way of thinking. I really don't. Neither and what's do worse is, is, is he's going to start to realise now. People may take photos just to say, oh, it's mass, but people, he's going to start realising from now that, it's not going to work in your favour. Mm. Well, he, what's he going to get out of it? Let's let's actually be honest. Nothing. He's going to get signed to the same person that signs everyone who can't get signed. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. He's going to he's going to go to a couple, what a couple uh, cinema events maybe if he's lucky. Mm. Yeah, he'll and go to a few movie premieres. Wow. That's it. That's it. And, um, he'll, he'll be and, to the same and, and he'll be the first one to get fake teeth. I think. Are his teeth bad or his yes. teeth bad? Are they? I don't yes. know, actually. I no, don't I don't know. Know. I'm not, okay, I'm not saying his teeth are bad. But he'll get teeth anyway. I, exactly. There's nothing wrong with people's teeth unless you've been smoking meth for 20 years, all yeah, right? Potentially. Now, her, his teeth aren't bad, but I'm telling you that's that's the kind of in, infamy he wants. Yeah. Okay? That's what he wants. He wants the free shit. I just don't get it. I he's don't not understand. there for love. All at the end of the of day, I'm telling not. you, he's not there for love. Of course he's not. Now, have you got any goss or insight about um, Harrison? I mean, I don't know anything about or the guy. Bronte, or Bronte. Or Bronte. Listen, I have – I. it's public knowledge now that me, me and uh, Bronte were already following each other on Instagram before she went in. Oh, really? I didn't know that. What? I didn't know that. Yeah. How? Come on, explain. Well, now you got to tell us. Well, no, we, we just we just uh, spoke briefly like years ago. This is how – like we, we just spoke very briefly. This is years ago. And it's just one of those people that you just know from Instagram, right? So it was just one of those things. And then, you know, her, she's going in and blah, blah, blah. So. Did she talk to you before she went in? Did she reach out to you and tell you that she was doing? Before filming, no. No. Definitely not. I only spoke to her before it aired. Okay. So before she had to give up her Instagram. Yeah. Have you caught up with her since she's been in Sydney? Because I've I've just heard oh, recently she's moved, she's moved That's with right. Lindell. I don't no, know. No, she hasn't moved. moved. She hasn't moved just yet, but she's going to. But no, I didn't oh. see her. No, no I didn't. Is, I, is um, it, I was, it's funny how people are moving their lives when, it, like, do they think that they're going to get like deals and make lots and lots and lots of money? So they're moving to Sydney, Sydney. in a rental crisis. Um, well, it's, it's, funny. <laughs> no, 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 it's funny to me. It's funny to me how these maths. I, these like, people, like, I know the, the rental crisis right now. My God. God. No, but seriously, though, this is a real – I'm asking question. Like, yeah. well, do think, people – If you want anything to happen, I mean, Perth is another country. I'm sorry. Perth is not yeah. in Australia. Perth is closer to America than it is, like, like Perth and Sydney. Yeah. Are like okay. No, that's fair. Yeah. yeah. It is far from, I guess, whatever, if there's events or something. Mm. But without, like, nothing's confirmed that – like uh, we we actually me and Ella were thinking about this earlier today, and we were sitting there out in the sun having our smoothies before. <laughs> like, what was our you know how far up? Uh, like, how long after the show even finished airing did we even make one fucking cent? Yeah. Like how long? Like we, we were doing our normal. Found. We were doing our normal jobs, we're living back. with that, living our normal lives. I was living in a fucking two bedroom cockroach infested place in Dulwich Hall. Yeah, I was living at home. 
Do you know what I mean? Like, I was living at home with my parents. Like we and we couldn't start. You know, opportunities didn't start showing up for a really long time. It's it's a, it's a very. But maybe they have jobs where they can work from home. I mean, great. great I don't for, know. I don't know anything about. Yeah. Them. Okay. But also, it's like nothing's guaranteed, guys. And mm. like we were, we gambled very Almost big so. on going on the show. Oh, Hello, yeah. like my my life could have been. I could have lost my family because they knew I did OnlyFans. I could have lost all my clients if I didn't mm. get jobs out of this. I could have lost clients because people wouldn't want to have worked with me because yeah. they knew that I was on OnlyFans. Like mm. people think that going on this show, you're going to automatically have all of these success, all yeah. of these opportunities. And yeah, great. You might get opportunities to. You might get some freebies. You might get to go to this movie premiere. Like that doesn't pay your bills. It does not. It doesn't pay your rent. You know, and also- it might just be. It might be the experience, right? Don't forget, if you can get through a whole period of something like reality TV, especially mass, right? And we all know how hard it is. And yep. if you can get through that and survive it, I think you can. You've got that that extra motivation to just do anything you've always thought of doing. And if everyone in Perth has probably thought about moving to Sydney. Let's be completely honest. Mm. Yeah, I mean, no I, mean, I, I get that there. too. There, there's definitely that certain extent, but it just. I don't know. It for me. I mean, look. I was you, as you know too, Brent. I was looking to move to Sydney because I yeah. for most of the time I just wanted to be closer to all of you guys. I remember yes, at the time, time yeah. I was like, oh my god, I just want to be near you guys. Like I miss you guys so much. I'm in Melbourne all by myself. This fucking sucks. Which she still says. <laughs> I'm in Melbourne right now. I'm fucking recording this. I flew in this morning, bitch, <laughs> <laughs> bitch. <laughs> but you know, I was in Sydney like last year for like. Probably about six months in total. Yeah. If I added up all the days I was in Sydney and all the flights, I was there enough to realise. Bitch is platinum now. Yeah, bitch is yeah. platinum now. But okay. I was there enough to realise I didn't want to live there. You know, I love yeah. I love yeah. Melbourne. There's just so much more for me here. In terms of opportunity, though, I can't really say there is more opportunity in Sydney. Yes, the events are in Sydney. Yes. Yeah. Yes, the events for, I don't know, fuck it, brands and cinemas and but they're not even things that I really – I don't really see value in me attending them because unless it's a brand or a partnership that I'm actually aligned with, mm-hmm. um, I don't attend events because I don't really – for me, it doesn't benefit me in any certain way, again, like, unless it's someone I'm working with. But I don't really – that was my main reason why I was like, yeah, the, the, I don't need to move to Sydney. I mean, the events are great too. Like, Brent, you know, like – we, there's so many events that we get invited there to in Sydney, right? And, like, yeah. I mean, there's only a certain amount you can go to because, <laughs> I mean, I've got to work. I've got to, yeah. you know, make money. I can't be going to every lunch event, every, mm-hmm. you know, cocktail event you of can't. the week. No, you couldn't go to everything. I don't know how people have the energy to do as many as they do. Oh, the social, the energy. The, but the socialising as well, like, oh. that's why I don't attend these events because <laughs> the socialising of these events are not – full of any substance for me. I don't find that I get any depth from majority of the event that I get invited to most of the time. I'm not communicating at a stimulating level. It's very superficial. And yeah, that's be. just not who I am. Yeah, it can it definitely can most be of the time. events. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. No, to the to the few that I've been to, I'm like, I literally have nothing in common with you right now. I don't know what to talk about. And yeah. That's uncomfortable for me. Like I, I feel uncomfortable, and I'm exactly the same. I'm, I'm yeah. exactly the same. And some people like uh, those. They live that influencer life, and they yeah. like you know because of their followers, they're so like this. And I'm like, dude, you be like that to me. I can tell you where to go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, first of all, don't go there. And second, yeah. I'm like, stop pretending you're big. I've got more followers than you, and I still act like like polite to everyone I meet. Yeah. So you do get both sides. And sometimes you go there and you have a great time and meet great people. It's, mm. I know. And other times I go there and I swear to you, I sit there in the corner and I'm just like, <laughs> yeah. don't make my contact with me. Yeah. I think as well the difference is because we are not self-made influencers, right? Yeah. We meet people in this industry now who have been, who have created a brand and a business growing up as an influencer you know they started very young they've you know created this platform and following by themselves without a management they've gotten themselves to 100 follow 100k followers and that's how they make their money and you know that's why they're at these events and it's like okay let's get the tiktok up let's and i'm like fucking i'm just here to enjoy the event if i'm going you know i'm like there to be in the moment and be present whereas they're like nah this is work and uh, that's where we see things differently because we weren't influencers. We went on a TV show. We got given yeah. the platform, which then kind of 
like plotted us into this world where we're around influencers often and we yeah. socialize with them and we meet them. But it really has made me realize, um, and I think as an outsider before the show, we would look at, I would look at influencers being like, wow, that's an amazing life. Like they're doing this, they're doing that. Like they have it so easy. But it's but just it, not that way. No. It's, it's, not, no. it's just it's not that way not. at all. And it's so. I can, I can believe so, but no, it's definitely yeah. not. And it's so interesting how, I guess, like, you know, from being on maths, and we know that it's, you know, the highest rating show in Australia and it goes mm. worldwide and everything. But, you know, we're always compared by, you know, numbers. Us, mm-hmm. You know, what what numbers in our bank account? How many social mm-hmm. media followers do we have? And, yeah, that's true. I mean, it's, it, yeah. it puts a lot of pressure. But, I mean, it, it just goes to show, I mean, our season, though, we had no idea. Mm how big we were going to grow on social media. Like the the reach that that our season had on socials was actually insane, right? And, I mean, if you go and look at this season's cast, Mm. like we're two weeks away from the end of the show Mm. and Mm. they like I don't even think a lot of them have grown that much. It's actually very interesting. I find it quite Mm. interesting because when I started watching, I didn't, you know, a few weeks in, you think, oh, okay, I'm not really connecting with any of the people. I'm not really, yeah. I'm not finding them any likable. I can't see myself well, in any of them. We we also were saying, like Dom and I have been saying this in our maths recaps, we aren't relating. Yes, that's what, yes. And that's what connects us as viewers, right? We want to be like, wow, I've really been there or I feel that. And yeah. I've felt that with that, you know, relationship. Yeah. You know, like all like, of this. I'm like. I just- the only person that I've actually felt that I actually got teary with was Sandy. Um, yeah. That whole fucking thing with Dirty Dan. like that Fucking Dirty Dog Dan, <laughs> mate. <laughs> dirty yeah, Dan. Bro. Have was, I ever seen him? Oh, that I, was, I met him. I oh met him, God, before, him before it aired. He came up to me with Josh and I was with oh. a mate of mine eating sushi in Bondi and he came up to me and he introduced himself and all that. So I met what him. Yes, what did he say? Go. Tell us what he said. Set the scene. No, Set nothing the scene much. Of, look, I didn't, I didn't ask him any questions. It's not like I was that excited to know, but I was yeah. just like, how did you go? How was it? You know, blah, blah, blah. He goes, yeah, I'm probably not going to be like too much. Mm. I was like, oh, oh Understatement okay. of the fucking century. Um, yeah. So I was like, okay, cool. And I didn't realize. I had totally forgotten about what he said. It, um, until like it all came out, I was like, "Oh, okay, that's yeah." Cool. And the fact that Josh was hanging out with Dirty Dan, like Josh, Josh is not the innocent Toy Bye, Story Joshy. pajama. He ain't dad. Toy Story. He ain't Toy Story dad. I'm telling you, Josh. I don't think anyone really. Josh is. can fuck, and I reckon he was being a little bit of a. Mm, I okay. don't really know Josh's story. I, I don't trust know. him either. You know the problem is. Look, you know what the problem is. Is you're right. Like you want to relate to someone. People related to us. Mm. we had no idea what it was going to be or how it was going to turn out. You can't relate to these people because half of them are on there with an agenda. That agenda is mm. clear and obvious. Mm-hmm. It's so, so obvious. And obvious. They go, I know what you're doing. Yes. And then, and then and people look at that and go, whatever. So all the other people that aren't into social media but look at it just for maths or anything like that, mm. you got the older crowds, you got the younger crowds, you got the ones watching and they're like, they can relate or oh, this person is lovely. Mm. They're just looking at going, what are you doing? Yeah. So then, that obviously none of them are going to get a reach like that more because yeah. they're all playing And the reason, game. guys, for our listeners, like hearing this, like what exactly does this mean? Well, I mean, in business terms, if these people mm. are like wanting to create a business or get some kind of monetary, uh, you know, make incentive, incentive yeah. from this, right, yeah. it's it's not giving – they're not actually going to get any payback from this because the, the fallout from like, okay, after they're – off TV, what what actually are they going to be giving their followers? What are they going to? Why are people going to want to be following them after this? Yeah, and I think the only one that's actually going to grow would probably be going to be Evelyn, and that's more because she's really good looking. Mm. So it's just another avenue to be seen, right? And mm. she she seems pretty cool when she calls people out. So you know, I mean, the pretty privileged thing I think is pretty huge here with it is. with Evelyn. Yeah. I think. Okay, great. Like she calls people out. It's great. Like we love that she's calling Harrison out. But she's also all married at first sight and she's on there with uh what's his Rupert. name? Rupert. I always forget his name. I right. like Rupert. I never see him. I like you Rupert. I think Rupert's cute. Harder than any other person on maps ever. Hey. ever. That that thing when he was stuttering on the Oh my god. Movie, I was crying. Do you know understand how hard I was laughing while oh trying to fool myself? Because I was crying. 
I love Rupert. I think he's just gorgeous. But do you not nice. think we're seeing jack shit of their relationship? Oh, well, and it's yeah. a relationship show. Yeah, but they've not. They're not in a relationship. They're not. They haven't even kissed on the lips. I don't think. Apart from yeah, their I think it's going so slow that it's. I don't think there's much to show, which is probably yeah. why. And by the time now, because they're the people that come in later, there's already drama going on, mm. which they're going to focus on more than someone's relationship. It's. Yeah, it's it's it's. I don't know. It's I find it so weird. Like I, I do understand, you know, the the Evelyn thing, you know, because she's pretty pretty privileged, and I think it's still rife and it's happening mm. and whatever. I also think Tani will do really well because it's genuine. I she's agree. in love. We love love. I and her and Ollie so are so still together, and, such a and they're amazing. I see. People. I see Ollie and Tani as like Carrie Johnny vibes. Yeah, I love them. Yeah, I hope like, so. Really we're nice, gonna like kind. Of, we are going to get them on the podcast. Yeah, we'll get them on the pod. But just like really yeah. normal, nice people with good intentions. They're genuine. Yeah. They have good hearts. Like they just mean fucking well. Like yeah, I mean, that's a problem. People don't yeah. mean well, and it's very rare to find. So that's why yeah. I like them as well. And yeah. they've can't like. Nine or whoever's gone through this whole casting process have chosen such a poor cast. Like, yeah, or right. all the cast members are very good at lying. It's either one or the two. Like, like how did fucking yeah, Shannon, Shannon get on there? Yeah, how did the Shannon get on there? Still with his fucking necks. And they're back so together, aren't they? Think about it, right? If you looked into it, you've got someone like Harrison oh. who has been <laughs> posting on Facebook and, and, and in groups and everything about maths for the last three, four years. Has yeah, he? he has, yes. yes. What? It's been coming out. So you obviously know that he's probably going to be the tactical one, right? Yeah. Wait, so wait, wait, yeah, so like like pause. wait, what? Wait, what's Harrison doing? So it's come out that he was in like maths groups and on Facebook pages. He's been commenting for several seasons, quite racist, quite sexist, quite misogynistic things about maths members. Yeah. So yeah. as Brent was just saying, he's quite strategic now being what he's doing. So keep going. Oh, right? yeah, he's been trying to get on for years. It looked like he would have tried every year to get on so he can try and do that. Which means, so if, in that point, if he's going to try every year, oh, I think that might be, anyway, sorry. If you're going to try every year to try and get on, you've probably got a game plan behind you and you're ready to do it. Now, if he comes out and pretends like, oh, I feel sorry for me, everyone hates me, yeah. I will lose it. Because, I mean, of course one he is. He's already coming out and doing what? it. Really? Who's going to feel sorry something like that, but I don't believe it. It's hard to believe coming from him. I don't believe a thing that comes out of him or Bronte's mouth. I just see fucking, yeah. I just see air coming out now. I don't hear nothing. I just hear. So do you think, do you think, <laughs> can I ask actually, do you think Bronte's on the same level as him though? Fucking oath. I, I think she's just as bad. I think that they're different. Like obviously Harrison is sick in the head. Like he's genuinely unstable. He's no. he's not right. There's a lot of things that are terribly wrong with that man and I don't know how you can fix that shit. I think it's too far gone. But yeah. Uh, Bronte, I feel, is – she went in there with this agenda. Um, she's failing and she realises that she has failed uh, and she do- – I don't think any of this whole she's been manipulated emotionally. I don't think that's a lot – that's a crock of shit. She's not. They need to stop using emotional manipulation. She's they need not. to stop using words like gaslighting. Bitch, there are real women out there every day that are being manipulated by their husbands, boyfriends, fathers, men in their lives. Bitch, mm. you are on a fucking TV show. You are not being manipulated. You can walk out and you can tell him to get fucked at any point. You keep mm. sitting there because you know, and and, I, and, I, and I'm not saying she's not the only one that's guilty in this. The producers are behind the scenes saying stay, 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 100%. Mm. We know yeah, because really it's happened know. to us, okay? Yeah. But all I'm saying is stop using words like emotional manipulation, gaslighting, all of this shit when you are clearly like instigating it and also you are – Allowing it to happen to you, and I and I, and, and I'm going to probably get some cop, cop some hate for that for saying that, mm. but she's allowing it because she stayed. And I'm sorry, you 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 put yourself in there, and you know you've got to live with it. What do you want me to do? Like I just don't think that like I'm not falling for it. I don't think no, that her I don't tears. Think is, babe. I don't think her tears are genuine. I don't think that she's falling madly and deeply in love with oh, this absolute off. ass of a man. No, um, no, I just no, don't no, believe no. any of it, and I think that she's she's a she's like. Almost shitting her pants to the fact that everything that this plan has failed. I can understand if she's not coping and she's struggling at the moment because it's not good. I mean, but did she not think that yeah. this is how it would have played out? I just don't understand. It's, you know, we all. I don't think they do. 
I don't think anyone really does. No, they don't think about I think about how it's going to look properly until you're watching it and then you realise how it's coming across. I think she thought the whole time people were actually going to be sorry for her. I don't know. I don't really sympathise. Um, I, I find it very hard to find anything that I can feel sorry for Brent at this point. But I just don't know enough. Like I don't hear anything that's happening from her apart from what I'm seeing on the show. Mm-hmm. Um, so I don't know anything. I mean, I did see her from the distance when I was in Coogee last week and I just knew that I actually didn't want to say hi and if I walked past her I probably wouldn't have said hi um because of just what I'm seeing on TV I'm like eh I don't really feel like it's necessary I don't know you um whatever you're trying to achieve on the show right now it's not it's, coming it's across, not girl. doing great yeah. and has she told you specifically why she stayed that long or why like I, I, it doesn't make sense to me because like clearly if she's not if she's struggling now it's not going in her favor why? No, not in depth. I don't think, like I said, I don't think they even realise what's going on. No one but actually also- realises how bad it is or how bad it's going to look or how stupid your decisions are at the time until well, you're, you're yeah. out of it. I can definitely understand with us not realising when we're in there how it looks because mm. I had no idea that Mitch was gaslighting me. Yeah. I actually had no fucking idea what that was until I met Mitchell. And then when it when it came to air, I was like... <laughs> Wait a second. Something yeah, really well, weird is happening. What I did for work, but here we are, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I had, I really didn't see what everybody else was seeing when it went to air. I was not seeing any of that, so I can understand what you what yeah. you mean there. Mm-hmm. But I just think because um, because those messages got leaked of ooh, of Bronte saying. I know who Harrison is. I'll just put it on. Yeah. That, because that, that got of, leaked like, very early days, that kind of just everybody was like, oh, well. And I know for a fact there's more text messages that are going to come out that has oh, very incriminating be, things with her that she said. Uh, um, well, fuck. That's <laughs> instigating her. Did you think this season had any idea what an NDA is? <laughs> Or, no. Oh my god! I know because it's 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 gone chaotic now. Like, I, yeah. at this point, I actually want to get involved and say, "Can everyone just shut up? Yeah, shut your mouth. Know. Don't let <laughs> things go. And just let it fucking play out." That's why I, I was doing all my TikToks, and people were like, "Oh my god, why are you trying to like get in? Like, you're trying your 15 minutes is over." I'm like, "Bro, I'm not here for 15 minutes. I'm I'm fucking here uh, forever." Yeah, so sure someone that has to say something stupid. But, but like that. I'm like, the reason I'm I'm saying this is that they've they're literally doing this and it's detrimental to their own. Like if they want a business out of this, if they want cloud, if they want followers, you're, you've gone and ruined it. I'm actually dead set scared for some of the cast. I'm scared for them. And all the drama that's to come, oh, right? I don't know until the, It's just the, the drama that's to come. Ours was so chaotic. Chaos. When the show was well and truly oh done. Hello, it's still going for fuck's sake with some of them. <laughs> it's still it fucking going. Is. It's still going. For, for, it's never going to end. Dom. To- it's like, still going. It's not going for me. I don't see shit. But I know that it's still going because I, I hear about it, whatever. And, to, like, just think of how this cast of this year as well, how toxic all of them are. Already, madness, and right. how bad it's, it's going to get. It's scary. I'm scared for some of them because it's just gonna get like to a whole other level of toxic behavior and bullying and trolling, and like it's just gonna be, it's gonna be madness. I know the, the, the online hate is never okay, and like yeah, the and, online hate, and you know, and Ella and I have always you know wanted to get across that. Our maths recaps, whatever my TikToks, mm. it's not trying to add to a pylon at all. It's actually just giving an insider's opinion and re- reflecting on everything from the perspective that we've actually done it. Mm. So, I mean, if yeah. anything, I mean, we've got a pretty good fucking insight, you know, and so our opinions probably matter than y- you guys, Tom, Dick and Harry, that just fucking watch it a few nights a week. We mm. actually have done it, <laughs> you know? Yeah. We, we've done it. Oh, have we we've done fucking it? done it. We've right. done it. We've fucking and, done and it. And you know what, guys? We did it really well. We did it really well. And look we, at us we, now. We weren't trying. 
That's we weren't exactly. trying. We weren't trying. No, but as in like, look at us now, the fact that we have been, it's a year and a half on since yep. we actually were inside the experiment. It was August 2021 that I left and now it's 2023, it's March, and we are all still friends and we genuinely yes. care about each other. Mm. Yeah. Like yeah. that is a huge thing to come off a TV it's hard to keep serious when you can see cats flying across I the know. I'm holding this one. Like it's – that's one thing that you can only dream to form on a TV show. Obviously exactly. finding love ultimately – that was the goal for us ultimately. But we came off with friendships and we we used to say this back then when we first came off the show, we were doing interviews yeah. on the radio. You know, we will be friends for life. Yeah. We yeah, all, I mean, I went on the show for love and I did find love. I found my best friend. Yeah. Like, I mean, for me, yeah. I, I, the, <laughs> the experiment did work. So yeah. I I think I was put in there for a reason. Um, and, and we're all, we're just so lucky that we were the season nine cast. Like, yep. yeah. I like look at different. us and, and we look, we compare our season to the current season and we're like, wow, like we actually had a really cool group. Yeah, we did. Even and, though there were shit people in as, there at the same time. As, <laughs> and, uh, and also, guys, you got to remember, like, as much as we did, like, there was a lot of shit that went on, but we we, we did actually have a lot of fun times. Yes, we did. We did. Okay? There were heaps did. of fun times. Yeah. We it's had so much fun. Like I want us all to get in the room and like get in the room and just muck around and get drunk and just do the stuff that we used to do. Like that's exactly. yeah, exactly. I yeah, know. and that was the good times until yeah, shit hit the fan. Yeah, everyone. Yeah, until things got really wild. But I mean, to really sort of sum everything up, we can clearly chat for a really long time <laughs> about our experience. I mean, guys, Brent and I and Dom, we all haven't caught up in so long and we used to talk so much more and catch up and keep each other updated on what's happening in life. But, you know, Brent's in love. He's going to London. He's <laughs> doing big things. We're busy as fuck. And Ellen's got two cats. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got kids now, so you I know what I mean? Like- two kids, you know. Um, and there's just so much going on. But, you know, it really is – a true testament to our genuine friendship that we formed um, on MAFs and how we will always be here to support each other, exactly. be there for 100%. each other. Yep. And it's just so nice that we can jump on here and talk about it. And we exactly. have something so fucking crazy that we can reminisce on and still look at it as such an amazing experience. A very cool fucking experience and something I'm really proud of, actually. Yeah. Brent, thank you so much for okay. joining us. I'll hold you. Yeah, Brent, Honestly. we love you so much. And you know what? Our listeners, the Sit With Us fam, fucking adore you they're rooting for you to find love and honestly they love everything about you they love your recap so we we knew that we had to get you on and we have loved sitting with you today and we hope that you have loved sitting with us i have thank you ladies for having me i love you guys i miss you and hopefully i'll see you soon yes, yeah we'll see you we'll see very you soon. soon we will thanks right, bye. bye see ya